Barbers from across the state gathered at the Texas Barbers Battle and Expo today at the American Bank Center. Reporter Victoria Badorama was there to learn more about the industry and its impact on our local community. Victoria? We'll see people with mullets now, flat tops are coming back, um, the Edgar, which thinks a horrible haircut, but kids are loving it. There's vendors, professionals in the hair care industry, barbers and stylists who are doing this work for their own reason. The founder of this event, Rick Morin, says he found his passion at a young age. It's crazy to think because just a young Hispanic kid who went to Miller High School who picked up a pair of clippers because he mom and dad couldn't afford to cut his own hair, his, his hair, so I went and started cutting my own and it led to this. Maureen founded the Barber Expo 10 years ago, each year growing. Now there's a total of 32 vendors plus workshops, demonstrations and competitions. Because our industry is always changing, so without modern education, up-to-date education, we may not stay in the trend of things. So that's why to me education is important to share with other barbers and stylists. Men and women in the industry and student barbers just getting started. 15 year old Dario Perez tells us he comes from a long line of barbers and he sees a lot of potential in having a career as a barber. It's a great stepping stone in life, you know what I mean? It's, um, I see other people, people are very successful in their lives here and if I can at least get to that point right there, I'm good. Perez was one of many in the crowd during an educational seminar. He said Says he learned a few things. You can't cut everyone's hair um, and you honestly don't want to cut everyone's hair you know so you want to niche it. And there's an entire room of people that want to be a part of the growth and innovation that's happening right now in the hair care industry propelling it to new heights. Reporting at the American Bank Center I'm Victoria Balderrama, Chris 6 News.